As I sum up the last policy address for my five-year term of office, I would like to express a few words that are dear to my heart. I left university and joined the government 41 years ago. It has always been my belief that with the vision to serve the community and the readiness to act with a proactive style, I could help build a fairer and more compassionate society for Hong Kong from within the establishment. It has been my honor to participate in the successful return of Hong Kong to the motherland. Since reunification, I've worked in different positions to implement one country, two systems to ensure the long-term prosperity and stability of Hong Kong. When I assumed office as the chief executive for the Hong Kong SEL some four years ago, I deeply felt that I was charged with a heavy responsibility. I realized that this would be the greatest honor in my career and no doubt the biggest challenge in my life. Within two years of taking office, I came under unprecedented pressure due to opposition of the proposed set of amendments, the fugitive offenders ordinance, the social unrest, the incessant and gross interference in Hong Kong affairs by external forces, as well as the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic. The driving force backing me up in overcoming all these challenges come from the earnest words of the central government that it will always provide staunch support to Hong Kong. My pledge to always stand by the side of people of Hong Kong when I took office and the unfailing trust and support of my family. Today, under the double safeguards of national security and the improved electoral system, Hong Kong is back on the right track of one country, two systems. I'm confident that Hong Kong is much stronger than ever. And I'm most convinced that Hong Kong can integrate into the overall development of the country and play an irreplaceable role as our country strikes towards the second centenary goal of the nation.